forecast. Hey, I wanted to start off with the National Satellite Radar Loop, and what I wanted to show you is not just the clouds you saw earlier easing their way northward, but what's pulling it is way out here in the desert southwest. This is an upper level disturbance. We'll be digging down and moving out in the southern plains and pulling that moisture northward and giving us that chance of rain tomorrow and early on Saturday. So, what are we looking at tonight? You can see the clouds beginning to arrive from the south, working their way northward, and those mild temperatures out there generally in the 60s. Well, what you're going to be seeing is cooler weather coming up. We've been at 77 degrees today after yesterday's record high of 87, low this morning of 50, and of course no rain during the last 24 hours. Now, tomorrow not quite as lovely as today, especially in the coastal waters where you're going to have cloudy skies. It'll be windy. There will be scattered showers in the area, a high in the middle 60s. But note the wind out of the northeast, 20 to 30 knots tomorrow, making for slightly choppy to occasionally choppy bays, three to six foot seas, and yes, a high rip current risk for tomorrow. Well, this evening's temperatures generally from the 40s and 50s over the northern part of the state to the 60s and 70s across the south. In fact, the 70s are kind of fading away now, and we're looking at a few isolated spots in the 70s, but most folks are enjoying the 60s right now, and those clouds are increasing. That's going to limit our cooling tonight, and we'll be down into the middle 50s in our northern counties, upper 50s here in Corpus Christi, around 60 degree mark along the Gulf side beaches. But watch this wind, generally out of the northeast, becoming more easterly and increasing tomorrow as that trough moves its way closer to the coastline and lifts that moisture to give us that rain chance. Now, eventually, we're going to see the rain chance go away, but tomorrow, because of the cloud cover, and that strong east northeasterly wind highs ranging only from the upper 50s to middle 60s about 10 degrees cooler than what we saw today well that high moves on off to the north and look at all the clouds and moisture coming in underneath that high well that's the showers that you're going to see tomorrow and early on your saturday but by late saturday our next cold front moves through and sweeps that moisture away it's going to leave a very pretty Sunday, but let's get there first. There's that disturbance I was talking about. Notice the rain being pulled northward and then on out away from us. Our second system comes in right on its heels. This will be Monday, Monday night. And yes, another chance for rain. Not going to be a lot, but it'll move on through here. And then the rest of the week is looking cool and dry. So here's what we have. A couple little spikes in humidity. Dew point rises before the Saturday rain or Friday night rain and again, Monday night before that Tuesday rain. Other than that, it's going to be fairly dry around here. And in fact, we actually do need some precipitation. We're only going to pick up about a tenth or so as you go through the weekend and then only another tenth or so early on Tuesday. So it's not a real big rain producer. Overnight tonight, 57 degrees. The clouds will continue in the area. And as we move through the next seven days, well, we're going to see highs generally in the 60s, except uh, lower 70s coming up on Monday ahead of the next cool air mass coming on in. So not a lot of rain to work with. No, I mean, but the I wanted to celebrate my birthday on Saturday. It's mm -hmm. on Sunday, but Well, you can still celebrate it, but just have a plan B. In other words, oh, to I stay got, I got a plan C just in case. Even better. <laughs> I have a better one. Don't I don't celebrate my birthday because they're Hi, we love because, you, Bill. I know, but too many candles will call the fire department. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bill.